take a look at this clip and think about what stands out for you. Now look at this clip and see if you're seeing any similarities. Totally different technique, totally different play styles. One is a female, one is a male. Both have the same in common. They're incredible movers. And the thing that I think really sets apart the great players in our sport from even the good players, and then of course the rest of us, is the balance. So let's define balance. What do I mean by that when I say you are on balance? It all starts with a super, super low base. Your head is still and it is over your center of gravity and your center of gravity is really, really low. Check out, for instance, Holger Runes or Maria Sakari's Instagram accounts and you will see that almost everything that they do in the wage room and on court gears them towards staying stable. There's a lot of core stability that they're working on, but they're also working on being able to maintain this position throughout every shot every rally and not just for the first half of the first set but for three or five sets respectively you want to maintain that wide base at all times you're not popping up and hitting one ball and then you're coming back down you're trying to move whether it's laterally forward backwards you are staying this low and when you first start working with this you will feel the difference because your legs will tell you that you did something different. The second thing that you want to work on when you're working on balance is your head. Your head should not move a whole lot. Your head should be facing the court. Yes, when you're trying to make contact and you're a person that is looking at contact point, then it is mostly your eyes that follow. It's not that you're looking all the way down here. Now, I'm somebody who's not looking at the contact point. That's not a cue that I was given when I was uh, younger, when I was trained, but my head is still very still. I don't think it's a bad cue to make sure that you're looking at the contact point. You just gotta be aware that you actually cannot see the contact point because it's way too fast. So you're just trying to not have any jerky movements with your head, especially when you're being pulled wide especially when you're having to move a whole lot, that's when it gets a little trickier. Remember, wherever the head goes is where the rest of the body goes. And that's why you want to keep your head fairly still. And of course, that is so much easier when you have that low base. Next time you're going out, focus on your balance. Don't worry too much about contact points, swing paths, how to create topspin, all the other things that we kind of work on a lot without working on this fundamental. Work on keeping that low base through the entire rally. And I'm gonna take out a bet here that you will feel a lot more stable, you will feel a lot more in control, and you'll have a lot easier time to transfer your body weight into the ball, which then translates into more pop on the ball. If you now want to dive in a little bit deeper on how to properly move and using your newfound lower base, check out this video. Two movement patterns that the pros use that I think almost everybody can use.